North Carolina, it's known for all sorts of tasty treats. One of the first things that comes to my mind, Lexington barbecue. That's right. When you travel east, your dinner comes from the sea. North Carolina oysters. We even have a festival to celebrate all things oysters. Head to the west from the mountains where obviously it's got to be moonshine. It was run there, right? And that's the beginnings of racing and inevitably NASCAR. Now here's one more thing to add to the list. Mount Airy brown sugar pie. It's been a tradition in Mount Airy for the last 50 years. You're not familiar? Well, let me let you in on it. Let's take a look at the brown sugar pie. This treat has been a tradition for folks in Mount Airy at the Cross Creek Country Club. The Golf Swim and Tennis Club is turning 50 and something that has been on the menu from the beginning is the brown sugar pie. Now the man who started it all, his name is Bucky and we're going to show you a few pictures of good old Bucky, the chef and pie maker who started this 50 years ago. The brown sugar pie is a southern tradition. It's been something that's been cooked in this part of the country for a long time. The brown sugar pie is, I'll tell you, not the prettiest pie you'll ever see, but it is a delicious pie. It is simple, and it's just one of those things where all the flavors just mash up perfectly. The crust of the sugar pie gets like almost crispy and caramelized, and just below the crust, it's just ooey and, and luscious, and it's a really great dessert that once you try it once, You'll never question it again. Woo. And so here Man, is the goodness. pie in real life. I had them eating it while I was talking so that they didn't <laughs> have to live. Eric is gone. Uh -huh. like All right. So we liked it. Love it. So good. Tanya. I know someone said, did you make it? And I said, oh, no. No, no. <laughs> you know, I was trying to um, figure out, pinpoint the flavor. Uh -huh. mm. It tastes like a pecan pie without the pecans on top. A little bit. Okay. You can taste or it like a little chess bit. chess pie, like mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I love the brown sugar too. It's not too much where it just feels like it's overloading, but it's just the right amount of touch. I love that um, he said the pie doesn't look very pretty, but it tastes great. I think it looks pretty. Oh, it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Maybe our days are this weekend, and so they've made all these pies at the Cross Creek oh Country gosh. Club so that you can stop by and you you can try a slice or you can just pick up a whole pie. Here, say, Doug, There's like, we're gonna <laughs> hold it up. Which one, Brett? Three? Mm. Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, yeah, it looks great. Yeah. They sent me the uh, whipped cream in a little thing so that I could put it on the pie. So you don't have to have any whipped cream oh. on the pie if you don't want to. Okay. Yeah, because I saw like the big bag that you were done. Yes. I was like, oh, it's the real so deal that we've got. That is yes. their cream. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's phenomenal. Oh, man. Yeah, the we cream like was this. a good touch to it. I what like I really it. liked is when, because I gave Claire one, so like Claire's off um, TV, but when I gave it to her <laughs> and she ate it, she went, <gasps> like, you steal my heart. That's like the most southern so compliment ever. Clutched her purse. This would be a 90 day <laughs> Thanksgiving edition too. I absolutely think it's mm -hmm. like one of the great yes. like fall editions that you can make for sure. And typically I, I don't like a lot of like pies if they're served cold or room temperature, but mm -hmm. that's perfect. No, that's well, great. and it's interesting that you say that because I said, all right, when people take the pie, what are they supposed to do? And so he told me that and he also told me a trick. If you are willing to make the pie yourself now, okay. I say you go pick it up, but you can make the pie yourself. We've got the recipe for you. It is in the two wants to know section right now. The instructions instructions are there, the ingredients are there, but the trick and how you warm it up afterwards when you're serving it secondhand, all right, here's how it goes. I've experimented with this recipe just a little bit and um, it really does take it up to the next level when you get the, uh, the milk and the butter, they get um, come up to like almost a, a steaming point so that they'll melt the sugar. We serve it slightly warm. We won't serve it too hot because it, it is, it will turn kind of caramely. So um, we will uh, slightly warm it up, maybe about 30 to 45 seconds in the oven to just lose the chill from the refrigerator. 